Hello and welcome to Lakeside Parkway Model Railway. Uh, just a few things in this video. Uh, just a quick update because I know I haven't done one in a while. So I thought I'd show you a few things. So first of all there's this. We got it from Warley. Uh, it's a Acura Scale 37. So as many of you know I already had a Batman one of them. Uh, slightly different. Uh, but the Acura Scale one is if you look at it close there is a massive difference with them. Uh, like I say, I won't get it all running and stuff. Uh, the layouts is having some work done right at the minute, but yeah, it's, uh, like I say, it looks brilliant. Uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with it. Um, like I say, there's a few issues. Uh, the roof cowl's coming off, one of the steps is missing, but I'm not that, I'm not that bothered. I can go to the roof cowl and stuff like that, so yeah. Very good. Uh, what I was saying from Warley, I got one of these, and there is another one on its way, which is from Revolution Trains, uh, which is the FNAD wagon. I know if you always say I've done them, but I wanted to try something from Revolution, so yeah, again, good. Uh, what else has been done? So, work has been done over here on the um, container depot. So it's coming together now. It's still a little bit. I've had some fencing delivered today, so that's being glued in place just to finish it off. But yeah, uh, I'm waiting on some numbers to number them. Uh, and obviously just a bit of detailing in and around it, a bit of weathering and stuff. But yeah, these are from West Hill Wagon Works, these lines. Very easy to apply and they look brilliant, I think. So. Yeah, uh, what else was there been done? Uh, so the big, part of the big change is around here. So, as you can see from the station, so we've got lights now for a crossing, which will sequence hopefully. And hopefully they'll sequence. There you go. <laughs> So it doesn't stay green for too long, but uh, it's just a board. Uh, but yeah, no, 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 that's perfect. Uh, like I say, uh, done some detailing around the station, so finished this grass area. Uh, I haven't finished painting this yet, but got a few barriers up. Got the paving in. Car park again needs a bit of detailing. Uh, you got the road. So what I've done is I've changed the plan, if you can remember the uh, fire station used to be over here and the ambulance so now I've changed it to the petrol station so yeah that's like I say looking alright I need to do the lighting and stuff and then I've got the uh, council depot next to it there uh, the next big jobs I need to do is the station area so this is hopefully I've finally had the lights delivered for the back here uh, so that's the plan for early January to get all the lighting fitted here and here. Um, over here, uh, I've also these are from Western Wagon Works. These uh, like f like temporary fencing. They look brilliant actually. Uh, I've just fitted them this morning. Also from West Hill uh, was couplings more magnetic couplings. So I've done the Drax wagons. Uh, so what I do now with them. Uh, is I actually use a bit of PVA glue and glue them in uh, just so if there are any problems but uh, thumbs up to West Hill uh, like I say I had a couple come which were broken rang them up and they sent me a new pack out so thank you very much uh, can't recommend West Hill highly enough to be honest uh, they're brilliant uh, Chris I know uh, Ian has just gone over too long so uh, like I say brilliant company so check them out uh, quite a lot of stuff from them is here uh, I've also it's still excuse the mess uh, they've just been painted so I've got a few bits that are waiting to go out on the layout down there but yeah uh, if you like I say obviously uh, I haven't updated the layout that much uh, but yeah if you need to know anything give us a shout in the comments below but thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.